Hello everybody, Trillion Swan here, and as you can see, not in our seed, no, 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 I'm in a super flat world working on some creative stuff. You know, I was talking about this RV that I want to build uh, for our island, and uh, it's going to take a lot of resource gathering, and I'm going to keep saying that. I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. So I thought that you might like to see what it actually looks like. So this is the... Let me get a good view of it. This is the RV. I just built it in creative. It doesn't have a lot of the details on it, um, but it has most of them. Let's see. I need this back so I can, can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right. There's the front. Nice, huh? That's why I love it so much. Here's the extension. In fact, let me just uh, kind of fly around so you can see. Uh, very nice. And the back. And the back. Very good. I'm going to get a sword in my hand because I'm in creative. And, uh, I don't want to accidentally hit something. Um, so there's the back. And the awning, uh, which can actually come out a little bit further if I want. But, uh, it's, um, I can make a nice little, uh, sort of patio area out front. Uh, these are the new doors that are in 1.8. These are the birch ones, and they look so much better than the oak doors did on this. We used to have to use iron doors to make it look right, and, uh, boy, they were a pain to open and close, so I'm glad that's gone. Here's the driver's seat area. When I did my Illyria one, I'll show you when we do that tour, but, uh, if you stepped on this gas pedal here, see, that would hit a command block and teleport you back home again. Um, but mostly that's just for looks. And then we have the little kitchenette area with some storage, uh, and an ender chest. And this is where I would, this is a super flat world, so I can't go down any further, but this is where generic B basically had a ladder down to all kinds of other levels, which I thought was, okay, let's not bounce up and down make everybody seasick. Um, I thought that was a very clever way of solving this problem because as you can see, this is a really nice, cozy place to live. You can be ever so comfy here. Um, but there's no place for enchanting. There's no place for any decent kind of storage or anything. Oh, the sun's going to go down. So catch your looks of this from the outside. I'm going to put the, um, original tutorial in the description so you can watch how it's made on Corrales' channel and subscribe to him please because uh, he's fantastic um some more storage up here i can't wait till mod uh, i'm sorry forge updates so that i can get my mods in here and have proper cabinets that'd be nice crafting bench furnace and a cauldron which i forgot to fill with water but that would be a thing and then here's the bedroom and Corrales has two beds in here, and it looks so nice, uh, and just the one chest, but I decided to put in a little extra storage. Probably don't need it if I've got this thing over there, and an armor stand, because, you know, change your clothes in your room kind of a thing, uh, and another door for this. So there you go. A little skylight action going on up there, although it's partially covered by the chest but i feel like the chests are kind of necessary and then with the cauldron here i'd probably put my brewing stand here and have brewing things up there um, for my kitchen and then <clears throat> these are redstone lamps which are activated by levers which looks nice in the night so i'll show you uh and then the levers sort of look like antennas sort of from afar or from down below you know, where you'd normally see it. So this is what we're going to build. And there can be a lot more embellishments. Like I said, there's the front patio. And then I've, when I've built these before, I've had um, paintings around and things like that. I don't really know what else you could put in here because uh, I've just filled it with chests, which was kind of unnecessary uh, if I do a nice storage thing. But for now, it seemed like the wise move. And there you have it. It's real nice. You see these tires are made out of coal blocks with stone buttons. Got stone slabs for the bumpers. Uh, if you go watch the tutorial, you'll see I did a few things differently. Oh, and I'm missing the sign off the back. Let me get that. Uh, for the license plate, 
one of these. Uh, let's see. RV living. Done. Aha! Huzzah! Um, and some other embellishments maybe could be done. You know, put some flower pots around or, you know, whatever. But this is the basic structure. So, as you can see, I need uh, hardened clay that's been dyed yellow for that. I need, um, I don't have to do this in orange, but I need something to dye the stripes. This is all made out of carpet. And the carpet is sitting on top of string to make it stand out like that. That's what those, like, that hip box is. So, I'm going to need a bunch of string. We need a bunch of things. Um, I probably already have enough glass. I probably already have enough clay and yellow flowers, but other things are going to need to happen. So here's my next plan. In here, I have a silk touch uh, pickaxe and a silk touch axe, and I am going to tear this whole thing down and keep all the bits and then put them in these chests, and then I'll have an actual inventory of what it actually takes to build this. I could count, but... <laughs> It just, this seems like it'd be easier. The whole bottom is uh, quartz slabs. There's a bunch of quartz stairs involved to make these um, indentations in the roof and such. So knowing how many slabs, how many stairs, how many blocks, how many blocks of coal, how many buttons, how many item frames, you know, that kind of thing, and all the chests. Um, which, by the way, in order to get chests to sit this way and the center one here... Those uh, require tripwire hooks for uh, trap chests. And I think when I silk touch everything, I'm just going to get trap chests back. So I'm putting a couple of those in my inventory to remind me that I will also need those. And also these discs are only found in special places like strongholds and stuff like that. And the chances of getting the one with the black circle in the middle, pretty slim. Um, so I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll go into creative to get it uh, or maybe... It'll just be a detail that has to wait for a while. Um, but when I'm all done, these chests will be filled with all of the things that it took to make the RV, and then we'll know exactly what's required. So there you have it. That's the tour of the dream. And now I'm going to tear it all down, and when I come back, uh, we'll take a look at what it is that is actually going to be required, and then hopefully I'll even have some time to maybe do some other things on the video and show you some at least what's upcoming. There's a mine I really want to get into. I always say mine when I need cave, but there's a cave uh, that I really want to get into uh, that might get us down to diamond level, so I'm quite excited about it. So uh, I'll be back in just a minute after I've torn all this down. Okay, so we're back, and we have torn it all down. It's gone. Goodbye. It was a little weird because I've never torn one down before, and part of it was sort of painful because I was like, oh, my. But then I kept telling myself, you know, no, you backed up this file, so even this one plus this one doesn't count. <laughs> uh, so here is the official list. I should probably clean it up a little bit uh, in terms of, like, getting, you know, things together, like how much quartz. Uh, yeah, st stack and something of of slabs, and then not quite a stack of blocks, and only 18 stairs, which is sort of surprising. I would have thought it was a lot more than that. Um, <clears throat> of course, some of these, like this one, the chances of me actually getting that, I'll probably have to find something different to do, and this could be a little bit different because I could pick a different color. But otherwise, here's my list. I'm going to leave it in this file to refer back to. Also, the sea lanterns are kind of an optional thing. But mostly I put the other optional things down here. I was thinking about the sea lanterns. If I could make them or get them, uh, I might replace the redstone lamps with those. Those would look really nice in the ceiling, actually. Those white, almost like it was fluorescent lighting, sort of. And then I, I could put a couple of levers up on the top just for decoration, but I wouldn't need them for that anymore. Also, I put the chest and the trap chest in here because bleh, I'll do however many chests I want. Ladders, just to remind myself that ladders are going to be involved eventually, and ender chest is just wishful thinking. And the armor stand is... Um, Something I can decide to do or not, you know, totally optional. I have a few extra chests here because I realized I was way overestimating on how many chests I was going to need for this. But there you go. There's the inventory list. 36 string. 
uh, a good amount of carpet, 36 carpet, um, some more stained glass for various things. Only 12 of the blocks and 21 of the paint. So I definitely, if I don't have quite enough to do that, I'm real close. Um, yeah. So this is pretty good. Most of this I can do pretty easily. This block of coal, that's going to be kind of a pain in getting this uh, stuff here. And then I have to first find an ocean monument to get any of that. And of course that's going to be next to impossible. But otherwise... There's the deal. Take a screenshot. In fact, I will take a screenshot. Did I do it? Yeah. Uh, that I can refer back to. Ta-da! Screenshot saved. All right. Awesome. Okay. Well, hopefully, if there's time, I'll be back in just a second with more. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm glad that RV stuff only took about 10 minutes, so I've got plenty of time now to uh, go show you some other things because we have a cave. We also have a zombie somewhere. Why can't I get out of this view? Thank you. Um, who has been growling up a storm, but I don't see him. And he was very polite because he stopped growling. No, okay, never mind. I was going to say he stopped growling when... Uh, I started recording, but that's not true. Okay, but, oh, why is my frame rate so low? Come on now, get with the program. I have a cave I want to explore, and it is down here somewhere. I was down here, I think, swimming across to something, and I happened to find a hole. Let's see, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Aha, there we go. This seems to go down pretty far. Oh, wait, I'm in creative. Why am I in creative? I don't know. Well, that's been fixed. I didn't want it to be like that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, no. Are you going to be like this? Yeah, see? This goes down somewhere. Ooh, and it goes down even further. Wait. Where, where are we going now? Don't push me back in a hole. I'll see where you go. Well, something's dying somewhere. Uh, okay. Stop. <laughs> Alright, cut it out now. <clears throat> the Pipples is watching. We have to be good for the Pipples. Okay, now, I have just had something happen. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, okay, this is kind of weird. I've just had something happen in my real life. Oh, hello. And there's zombies. Of my computer, which is that I use a yellow filter so that being on the computer late at night doesn't keep me awake. <clears throat> it takes out the blue uh, that tells your lizard brain that it's daytime and that you should be awake. Oh, seriously? They're just going to kill me down here. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Pretty good iron. Anyway, you can disable the yellow filter uh, for an hour at a time with a little checkbox. It's uh, back there. I don't know. Um, how far does this go? Oh, more fighting. Thanks. Uh, anyway, the yellow filter has just come back on again. <laughs> Which makes Minecraft a little hard to see. The colors don't work out very well. And if you think it's dark for you, oh boy. It's kind of dark for me. So I'm going to have to go fix that in a second. But for right now, it's not terribly bad. And I don't really want to stop, because I just started this recording. Or this part of it, anyway. More iron. More down. Whoops. I didn't want myself to go down that much. Let's do that. And then that. Shut that off. Uh, tell myself this is the way out. 
and keep going down. I just want to go down, down, down. I want to find diamonds. Because I really want to get to the nether. Okay. And I'm out of torches. Nice. Okay, let me run away for just a second. And see what I have to make torches with. Okay. Let's get me. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, trackpad. Honestly. So if you live to plague me. I was talking in my episode one of this series about birthday presents and cleaning off the desk and everything. And uh, if I move to a desk, instead of sitting here in my comfy chair, then I will move to a mouse as well. This track that gets kind of annoying. Okay. We're going to line up for death. Q starts here. You can't figure out a way up. Oh, poor you. Okay, well, this seems like a promising down, so let's go down. Well, this has just worked out really great. Uh, I knew there was a hole, and I knew it led to something, but I didn't know to what, so this is pretty cool, man. Okay, we need to indicate this is the way out. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I got my system. I was watching um, Skizzleman and Impulse play... Um, yep, yeah, this looks pretty promising. Uh, watching them play uh, Naked and Scared. <laughs> Uh, which is a sort of Minecraft variation that they do. And Skizzleman created a system. Oh yeah, see we're at the we're at the good part. All right, let's do that. He created a way for keeping track in the Nether of uh, putting a block uh, like so, and then putting a uh, torch on it in the way that you have come from. And he was calling it a scumpus, a schizzle man's compass, a scumpus. And uh, I was thinking about my little torch system and what would I call it? I don't know. I should come up with a name. Get rid of all this extra junk. Well, I've got some handy lava. All right. This is pretty great. So we seem to be right in the place we need to be. Actually, ugh, pulling up my F3 is a giant pain. But while I'm doing it, I can turn off my yellow filter. So hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, turning it on and off is such a pain, I didn't want to leave it on. But this right here where I'm standing is at 8, 18. So we want to go down 7 more. Oh, and as luck would have it, there seems to be a way to do that. Whoops, right here. Now, it does seem like I'm leaving a lot of resources behind, but I can always come back. Not a problem. Uh, does this go down... ...even further? Oh, sh <laughs> Beep! <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, well, this doesn't really help my situation, does it? Uh, there we go. Let's stop that up. And figure out what we're going to do next. Oh, it's nice to have the yellow filter back off again. Um, oh, hello. More creepers. If only I had a bow. I'm going to end up making a path. What am I doing? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> end up making a path for the creeper to come over here. Let's see if we can just keep you trapped back there. This doesn't seem hardly fair, but... Alright, there we go. Ooh, I'm gonna need to eat. Oh, it goes down further here. This is good. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do this. And then, oh, I could have used a better sword before I came down here. I thought I was all tricked out, but I don't know. Alright, uh, Trumpus? <laughs> I don't know, what are we calling it? 
that's the way out. So around here we should be pretty good for diamonds and such. I don't quite know how far down I've gotten. I didn't count, but seems pretty good. Need lapis for enchanting eventually. Hello, creeper up there in the distance. Oh, and that is a witch, my friends. And we just oh, that's bad juju. Yep, yep. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's the second time I've cussed in this video, and I really didn't want to be cussing in videos. Well, this is going to next to kill me, but I may as well get some coal on. Oh, shoot! She's still here! Uh. Uh. Stop doing that, lady! Jeez! Yeah, in your face! I'm just going to keep smashing you! Where'd she go? Oh, she fell. I don't know if she can throw potions at me from here. I can't seem to hit her, I'll tell you that much. Okay, let's see. If I go down one... Whoa! Ah, just hit you in the face with this. Ah, go away, go away, go away, go away. See, she keeps taking regeneration potions. Aha! Yeah, I'm kind of in a little bit hurt. I wish I had a bucket of milk right now. That would be good. Oh, thank you, lights, for coming back. That was awful nice of you. Keep. I'm gonna end up dying because I just like I regenerate a heart and then I lose a heart from the poison. Oh, dead there. Does that mean it's over? Yes. Oh, goodness. Sorry, it's so dark. Hold on. There. All right. Well, we're gonna be running out of time in the video pretty soon. Alright, uh, we only have ten minutes, and boy, it's amazing how fast that goes. Um, but, at least I've given you an introduction of where I am and where I'd like to be and that sort of thing, because I'll probably hang out down here uh, on my own. Give me that iron and don't let it fall in the freaking lava. Okay. Uh, yeah, because, boy, I sure want to find diamonds down here, and that's just going to take some running around, and honestly, some branch mining wouldn't be a bad idea either. I'm sure this is a good level. Um, so, yeah. For those of you who watch me, who really are only watching me because you want to watch me, because you're my friends or family or something, uh, and you don't really care about Minecraft, uh, branch mining would just be doing this, just going and- <gasps> Oh! Oh! Oh no! 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 Six! Oh, put down water! Ugh, lord. It's the day of finding ways to kill myself. Um, but yeah, branch mining would basically be- being more careful than that. I kind of needed all that redstone there. There we go. Um, getting down to the level where you feel like there's going to be a lot of diamonds. Everybody has their own number that they like. I prefer 11. And then you just do this. And you just keep going in one direction for uh, until you run out of pick or, <laughs> you know, like as far as you want. And then some people would go, like, uh, make extra hallways going off the sides here, hence branch mining, and being more um, uh, methodical about it. And that was how I learned to do it, and so I was always extremely methodical, but boy, that takes a long time. I've actually found out I can have just about as much luck if I just pick a direction and keep digging in it. And this is really easy because I'm just holding down the left mouse button and the forward button at the same time. And off we go. And eventually, I thought it'd be really cool if within a few seconds I found some, but you know, usually, eventually, or two out of four, you find yourself coming across diamonds. Now, this habit that I have of holding down the left mouse, whoa! See? And going forward often means instant death because I. Goodbye, peace school. Oh, I got it. It's a miracle. Because uh, you can't fall straight into lava doing that. Oh, 
wanted to be careful. Where does this go? It's just a room. A room of lava. Okay, and a little more here. So, Jack the Fire Lord, uh, the reason he's the Fire Lord, or Fire Lord Jack, or whatever, uh, is because he is just crazy about fire and lava. <laughs> he's never seen real lava. Um, and only campfires, pretty much, or candles for real fire. Uh, but he sure loves it in, as a design element, or like a, you know, like he loves it in the game, he loves it on if anything can be orange yellow or red in his life uh that's always a good thing <laughs> you know that sort of thing because it looks like fire um so when i said that about having a lava room and i thought why would anyone have a lava room and i thought oh well jack the fire lord probably wants a whole lava room right in his house in fact when we get back onto Illyria and he starts making his base that would be pretty cool like a whole floor of lava covered in glass you'd have to be very careful <laughs> in there or you'd have instant death oh there goes the pick so yeah that's branch mining at its finest and you didn't really turn up anything for me this time a little disappointing but that's the uh, basic idea of it. And since I burned out my pick, I guess it's time to quit. Because I can't even go any further in that direction. Oh, hello. Oh, I think uh, the creeper is going to quit for me. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. Game will keep inventory true. Always a good thing. It's a day. It's a day, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, we didn't bring back much, but we did find a cool mine. And now you know uh, I'll be... Uh, whoa, hello. You're in my head. Get out of my head. What is going on? Oh, it's because I'm in the corner. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's it. Um, if I get any more resource gathering done, you know, um, I'll probably just keep the recording button handy and go down there in that mine and see what I can't find and, you know, bring home a bunch of that iron and coal and stuff if nothing else, and redstone and lapis, and hopefully find diamonds, which is another good reason to keep the recording button handy, because then you want to go, look, I found diamonds! Diamonds! All right, well, see you next time for, I guess, episode four. Be well.